Good afternoon, everyone. I'd just uh, like to begin, first of all, by I'm sure they need uh, no introduction. Just take a moment to uh, introduce my colleagues. Uh, to my right is uh, from Prince Edward Island, Premier Giz. Uh, next to Premier Giz, uh, Premier McNeil from Nova Scotia, and also Premier Glent on my left from uh, representing uh, New Brunswick. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Council of Atlantic Premiers has a history of collaboration and has demonstrated great success in working together. And I'm very pleased with the very positive and productive discussions and meetings that we've had yesterday and today. This forum has provided us with an opportunity to, to, to do some very productive dialogue, and that's vital to continuing our work together and advancing the Atlantic Canada region. And also, it helps to give us an opportunity to improve the competitiveness of our area. To summarize our meetings, uh, we've discussed the topics of regulatory reform, which are important to all of us, uh, research and development. We had a very good pres uh, presentation from, from RDC uh, here in Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, we've talked about innovation and procurement, uh, another area that has, has uh, seen great success in the efforts that we've made. Uh, we've had a discussion about energy and immigration, among other topics. I'm very pleased uh, to support, we're all very pleased to support job creation and economic growth with agreement on Atlantic Red Tape Reduction uh, Partnership, which will streamline business regulations and processes to help create a more competitive economic environment in Atlantic Canada. We've reached agreement on the development of Atlantic Immigration Strategy to share best practices and enhance recruitments and marketing and research as well. And we've had conversation, as I mentioned earlier, on, on energy and responsible development that led us to an agreement uh, on cooperation and continued support for the development of energy infrastructure, and we remain committed to the vision of the Canadian energy strategy. And today, we are about to sign a new agreement, a new 10-year agreement on the Atlantic Veterinary College, and this will secure a partnership long-term for all Atlantic Canadians, and it's beneficial, I know, to Newfoundlanders and Labradorians as it is to all provinces, and we'll sign that agreement uh, at this time. Thank you very much. Well, this has been my, my first opportunity to uh, meet to uh, meet all three premiers and, and have an opportunity to have discussions with them. Uh, I want to thank them for their cooperation. And as a, as a new premier, I can tell you they've been uh, very helpful and supportive, and they have, uh, have uh, participated and encouraged a very good discussion over the last couple of days, and I think we've started a good relationship. 